Caniacs. It's been far too long. Um, I've, I've missed you guys. I'm sure you've missed my voice. Uh, unfortunately, with what I want to do tonight, I can't use the, uh, the Play Games recording app that, that showcases my beautiful face. Uh, rather, I've got to use this other one so that, uh, yeah, it, it'll work easier for me so that I can pause and restart the recording. So, um, what we're going to do on this video is, uh, give you a little tour of Hitter, uh, Hitter Nation. Uh, take you through the four clans, highlight an attack from each of them. We've had a very good weekend. We, uh, went 4-0 here this weekend. Two clans in, uh, in the potluck with wins. Um, very, very good stuff. Very good stuff. So, uh, um, let's go. We're starting off the tour of Hitter Nation here in Hitter Recruit. Hitter Recruit is, uh, uh, a clan now that houses some of our minis and some of our, um, engineered clans or engineered accounts. So, um, they haven't been very active here because we kind of moved and shuffled some people around. So, uh, but they, of course, still have a, a thirst for war. And uh, we're going to get into these guys here. Oh, that's the current one. We don't want that one. That one doesn't have anything for us. Hit a recruit versus Clan Amulet. I'm guessing they're from France. Look at that. They're from France. All right. So uh, we've got some good attacks here. As you'll see, um, 14 of 20 attacks used on hitter side and 10 of 20 on their side uh there was one one run that didn't get got so 29 to 21 easy peasy lemon squeezy type of war we're going to showcase uh power panda bear coming in with the um the go bowie okay it's the go bowie with healers not the go bitch that's so rude just rude and crude. So you got bowlers and witches on the outside with the healers backing them up, keeping them going, keeping them churning. You got jump to get inside the base and then another jump to uh, to get going. That could have been placed maybe a little bit more to bridge that little gap where that loon is hanging out right now. But regardless, um, stuff is getting in. The poison was down to take out that balloon and uh, eventually the the lava pups. We've got a single golden shower over here, so uh, that's nice. Those are always nice to face when you've got uh, mass troops coming in. Both golden showers are down now. Things are starting to kind of peter out a little bit. Uh, you still got this golem who is taking some heat from the expo and the cannon. It's going to get split into two, and then the golemites will then be focused upon, so that was helpful. Uh, and of course, the queen is near full health and still has the queen cloak. So that's a big help. Um, as things are going in, there's still a couple of... Uh, there's still one witch now, right now, cooking, uh, cooking up two witches. Two witches bringing up them skeletons. Now, the Queen Cloak is still in play, and I want to point this out. Nice patience here by Power Panda Bear. Those Wiz Towers aren't going to do a whole lot of damage, so let her take them out before they take her out and keep that cloak, which comes in critical here because that Archer Tower shoots on her, and then Boomy uses it, and takes out the archer tower. Had he used the archer tower or used the queen cloak a little early there, uh, he may not have had enough. Now watch what the queen does here. She's gonna take out this this pump, and then she's gonna go back to the mine. That makes no sense. I don't understand what she was thinking there. But it's all for naught because they're still gonna get in and uh, take out that bomb tower. And three bomb. So, good stuff by Power Panda Bear. And we're off to our next locale in Hitter Recruit. Hitter Nation, not Hitter Recruit. We're right there now. Let's go on. And here we are on our second stop of a tour of Hitter Nation. Here in the new Mortar Legends. Mortar Legends is... Uh, 
the newest clan to Hitter Nation. Um, we we kind of needed a new place to go, uh, and uh, and so Mortar Legends was um, uh, kind of f- taken over by Nick. Um, I don't know really how it all played out, but I I just kind of guessed that Nick found this clan that had just kind of given up on life, and he came in and said. I'm your new leader, and they said, okay, and then he kicked everyone out, and uh, now it's where we house all of our uh, Town Hall 11s, all of our big accounts that, um, you know, are facing some of those big-time wars. Uh, So, let's get into what we got going here. Uh, They just recently beat some name I can't pronounce, but uh, it was... I mean, let's be honest. It was a bit of a farm war there, obviously. So we're going to highlight this account. I haven't watched this account yet. I don't even know. I'm clicking replay. I don't know if it was a farm. It's not a farm base, so good stuff. Uh, This is Atlanta 15 Braves. Um, He likes um, baseball. Anybody that names their account Atlanta 15 Braves is kind of a nerd baseball wise so we've got uh we're gonna go with the go go bowie of course now this is a little different we've uh split out sort of spread out those witches uh and bowlers and um you'll see we've got maxed heroes on this side a couple jumps to get into the base and then get into the core of the base now this is this is a is a big base. This is a big tough base. I don't know if there's any doesn't look like there's any defensive CC support. So that's helpful. Uh but you know, whatever. That stuff doesn't seem to matter much anymore. Really the main point of this attack is that the bowlers and the witches are still Look up here. Look up here. Look at all the stuff up there. That's just ridiculous. And you still got Queen with, uh, uh, you know, Queen pumping stuff out. Um, She lasted quite a while there. And, uh, you know, the point of this one, and then a jump here at the end that didn't quite work out quite the way I think it was was hoped. But, uh, you know, none of it was needed anyway. So still plenty of, there's still a couple bowlers up there, witches, Which is pumping out those skeletons like crazy. I mean, look at how many skeletons are still there at the end. They're even coming up from outside the base. Who knows? They got more skeletons coming up like cockroaches. And uh, now it's important, I think, that... um, there, There it goes. You still had some things shooting over the walls, which was helpful at the end. Because that... uh, uh, those skeletons would have taken a little bit of time, but anyway, 100% three bomb magic, beautiful, and uh, let's get on to our next locale. Here we are on our third stop of Hitter Nation, here in the famous Heavy Hitters 2. Of course, uh, I think all of my previous vids have come from Heavy Hitters 2, so you all are no stranger to the deuce. Uh, You know how they roll. Heavy Hitters 2 initially began as a feeder clan, uh, a place where we sent some minis and we tried to build some people up to join main uh, Heavy Hitters, that is... um, but eventually, uh, eventually it grew into its own animal monster and just is now just a crazy monster of a clan. Um, this is probably our, I'm going to, I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it, our most active clan. Um, they, they're talking, they're chatting nonstop 24 seven, it seems, but they began, uh, our journey into C- CWL Champions War League, and um, they got they got in and they're in and they're pushing and they're working that out. So God bless them. These guys have faced some of the the bigger names in uh, Clash of Clans, and they've beaten them. Um, so 
Uh, good luck to them and continued success. Heavy hitters too. Let's get into this one. This is this is going to be a big one. This is War Kings. Okay, so not a joke. Another CWL clan that uh, that they faced. Eighty four eighty. Um, we've got uh, ninety two point seven percent damage to ninety one point nine seven. Uh, just a good war all around. And a four a four run win. That's good stuff. That's good stuff in these type of wars. So we're gonna feature stays given no FX uh, is the PC pronunciation of that name. I won't say it's accurate, but it's the PC version. I got kids watching. I got, I got a fan base. So again, we've got the Go Bowie. Not to be confused with the David Bowie. Again, it's a family video. I've got I've got to I gotta remember that. I've gotta come up with bad dad jokes. But we've got go golems coming up in the middle. We got bowlers and witchers on witchers, witches on the outside. We gotta jump to get into the base. This is turning into a go bowie video extraordinaire. Uh, we got another jump here about to drop to get deeper into the base and get things going. Um, the defense, the hound is down, and uh, now the lava pups, they're not going to do much damage. And, uh, you know, here comes the poison to take care of them. Um, but again, what's interesting on this one is that a lot of the defense seems to have been shooting the inside stuff. While the bowlers and the witches were going around the outside and taking them out. Uh, because here we've got the queen about to go down. And a lot of the internal troops, uh, uh, they seem to have disappeared. But what we have is a lot of bowlers and a lot of witches still going on the outside. So it's important to get some splash damage uh, there on the corners. And to protect that outside perimeter. Um, because, I mean, just look at all that's left. Uh, there's just so much left, and none of it went through the core of the of the defense, really. So uh, that was a fantastic deal, perfect for that base. Um, you still got the Inferno going. It's going to be the last thing to go, but it doesn't matter because uh, everything's just, you know, just still overpowering it and swarming it. So um, good stuff. I mean, look, you still got a witch down here. I don't know what the hell she's doing, but... God bless her. God bless her. So, here we are. Uh, the Inferno Tower, the Golden Shower, is spraying some things. And I'll, I'll be damned. Here we are now. It's got one... It's only focused on a golem. It's not going to do anything to the golem. So, it is lights out for that Golden Shower. That Golden Shower is spraying all over that golem and that golem is just taking it all in it just can't get enough of that golden shower uh and it's flat there it goes 100 percent. well done good stuff all right let's head on to our final stop in the tour of hitter nation and here we are our final stop in the tour of Hitter Nation here at Heavy Hitters, as we call it, Maine. This is where it all started. And look at that! My P.E.K.K.A. just completed to level 4. Hallelujah! Praise Jeebus. Anyway, so, um, we... Maine, Maine is what started it all off. The clan was founded uh, through a bunch of friends and family uh, out on the West Coast and has grown internationally obviously we have players all around the world uh this clan here for a long time housed all of our main uh big accounts our huge our, our tens top tens when 10 was the thing and then our top 11s when everybody started maxing those out um we've had in maine we've had 50 versus 50 maxed well not quite maxed 50 versus 50 Town Hall 11 Wars. Uh, we've recently switched it up, and now uh, Heavy Hitters 1 is uh, is looking to shift into a CWL clan. And uh, has recently 
um, built the, the clan with a bunch of um, tens and nines to become CWL eligible and uh, really focus on that. We'd love to get two hitter clans, hitter nation clans in CWL representing. So Maine here just recently just finished off our first um, potluck war and uh, we're going to get into this. This was against War University. I mean, I'm telling you, it came down to the end. Let's see what we've got here. Um, here at the end, we took a one-run lead with one minute left in war. And their last person, number one, came in to try and get two runs uh, against pressure to tie it up. He missed on that, so we got the one-run war. We had percentage 93.60 to 91.93. Would have been pretty tough anyway. But as you see, we got that one run war after tying it up with 33 minutes. Coming back from uh, from a couple down, this was a uh, this was a battle. This was this was good stuff. Um, we really really pulled it out here at the end. Did a little bit of cleanups. That was that's always nice. Save some of our big attacks for the end, uh, so they could do that. But we're going to go in and we're going to watch. Uh, this is the original founder, the Tony Ye, the Godfather of heavy hitters. Um, <clears throat> we're going to watch his hit against number three. So again, another go Bowie, <clears throat> and. Uh, Coming up from, from the right, from 3 o'clock, and from 6 o'clock, down in the bottom, with the golems and the... Golems, I always do that. The bowlers and the witches, uh, they're on the outside, setting that funnel. A jump to get into the base here with a couple of golems. And before you know it, uh, he's going to be in, getting in deeper... And he's going to be taken out here pretty soon, taking out that uh, chicken gun. So it's not going to cause any problems. Um, surprisingly, didn't use any freeze. But, uh, you know, the infernos, were, the golden showers were so close together that uh, you could take them out pretty quickly before they really hurt too many of your troops. So that was nice. Um now they're both down, and the queen still has her queen cloak. We still have some bowlers in the core. Uh, still have a full golem and some golemites uh, tanking, and we have witches and um, witches on the outsides going in. So good stuff there. Now we've just got two cannons, two archer towers. We got a mortar. That could be a little bit of a problem. Uh, and two whiz towers still going in, and a bomb tower. But that's all that can really hurt us now. That um, air defense isn't doing anything to us. Oh, we still got the warden statue. Lame. Warden statue has stopped, like, one attack ever. <laughs> so, uh, still have Queen Cloak intact. intact. We are now just going around... Cleaning up some of the outside stuff. And uh, <clears throat> one witch, one queen, one warden, one bowler. And skeletons that are getting burned. So, we're at 93%. Um, you know, the replay tells us we got 20 seconds left. I don't know how much time that that is left. I haven't paid any attention to when it started. Still have a queen cloak, and all we have are two whiz towers and one bomb tower. Give me a break. They're done for. They've got no chance. There we go. Finally pops that archer uh, cloak, queen cloak, just at the end, just for shits and giggles. Um, insult to injury, 100%. The Tony Ye, the godfather, 11 on a maxed 11, I think. Let's... Let's just play again just to see. Did he have max heroes? I see a 45. Oh, he didn't have a maxed king. He doesn't quite have a maxed warden. Other than that, maxed out. And what did he have in his clan castle there? 
so you know not to do that. Balloons and some minions. Uh, not a bad, really not a bad defensive mix for this attack because the bowlers aren't going to shoot down the loons. They're not going to shoot down the minions. But the poison really helped there, took out a lot, um, and then the archer queen took the rest down. So that was helpful. Not a bad defensive CC, which makes the uh, makes the attack all that more impressive. So God bless you, the Tony Yay, and good stuff. So with that, uh, there you go, a tour of Hitter Nation. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, let's go CWL, two clans in. Let's get her done. Good night.